Hey guys, hope you guys are having an amazing day today. In today's video, I actually got a snuffle mat and it actually just came in from Amazon. I still have to open it up, but if you guys don't know what a snuffle mat is, it is basically, how do I describe this? Just like a cut up blanket where you can put your treats in this blanket slash mat and then your dog, Jackson's gnawing at the tripod. Um, Basically, your dog will have to sniff out and try to figure out where the treats are within this mess of a blanket. Again, the goal of this is to provide mental stimulation for your dog slash puppy. And if you guys don't know, uh, physical activity is one way to wear out your dog, but sometimes that might not be enough. And another way to combat and to wear out your dog's energy is through mental stimulation. And through this device, this little uh, toy, so to speak, um, this is one way to kind of achieve that. So Jackson has never seen anything like this before. We're gonna test it out for the first time in this video. Jackson has seen puzzles and figured out puzzles in the past. There is a video on my channel about that. If you guys wanna check that out, that is another great way to stimulate your dog's mind. But again, for this one, Jackson never seen it. We're gonna see how he does, how long it takes him to kind of figure out where the treats are. And hopefully uh, throughout the day, he'll might, he, he'll be tired from this. So that's the main objective. You guys know Ossie have a lot Lot, a lot of energy and not only is physical exercise a great way to wear them out but also through mental simulation but let's just get straight into the video so here is the mat it is this is the size I think I got a medium on Amazon there's an even larger size too but again I, I think this will work perfect for Jackson and for also smaller dogs if you guys have smaller dogs than Jackson I know Jackson's really tall now and actually still growing out one year plus but yep yeah, this is essentially what a snuffle mat is this portion and i actually got a half and half type of mat so again snuffle up here and then uh some little small little uh i don't know how to even describe it flaps here to hide the treats again the main objective is to hide the treats within these obviously this is kind of self-explanatory down here but here again it's just a mess a cut up mess and you basically just hide small bits of your food uh, or whatever incentives you guys use. Treats within this mess, these flaps, and then again, your dog will try to figure out where exactly it is and try to find it. So I'm gonna put this down on the ground here, put some treats in it, and then uh, again, we're gonna try it out. All right guys, so I'm gonna be using Blue Bits Soft Moist Training Treats and hiding them within this whole entire mat, not sponsored by the mat or these treats in any way. I'm just using this uh, right now for this month. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hide them within the mat. Again, kind of just put them here. Jackson won't know where they're at. I'll put some in here. 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 Oh, wait, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> wait, here, not yet. Again, the main objective of this is so that they have to figure it out with their mind, obviously, <laughs> where the treat is. And also, as you guys know, uh, their sense of smell um, can really help in stimulating them and um, using up that energy. I think this was like either 20 to $30. But again, if you are like to craft things at home, if you're an artist, you can definitely get some cloth and cut it up and make a mat yourself. Uh, Cause $30 is actually a lot for this. Wait, not yet, nope, nope. So I distributed a bunch of treats all around the mat. As you guys saw, we're gonna see how Jackson does. See if it actually takes him a long time. And he's waiting so patiently right now and he's starting, all right, so. See how it goes. All right, go. Good boy.
All right, guys, so I think Jackson got most of them because I, I do see a couple actually. So he might be actually full. He just did eat. So, but it gave him a good five minutes or so to get, again, most of the treats. And it seems as though that he really enjoyed the mat, the snuffle mat. And we're gonna keep on using it, but I definitely recommend getting a snuffle mat. Again, this is not sponsored in any way, but this is also, <laughs> <laughs> but this is a great way to stimulate your dog's mind in addition to walking, jogging, or whatever a physical activity that you and your dog do together. If you guys have a snuffle mat or have any other devices, tricks, toys, or anything that can really help in wearing out your dog, whether it is physically or mentally, please comment down below as I would love to learn more about them. As a reminder, please hit that like button as it really helps in the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button too, as it really means a lot to Jackson and me. And as you guys see, I moved my bed closer to the window just so Jackson could look out the window here. I think it's really funny and he enjoys it now. Hi, Jackson. Tell your dogs you love them. Jackson, I love you, you fluffy dog. Thank you guys for watching and have an amazing day. Fluffy, fluffy dog, fluffy Jackson. Jackson, so fluffy. What do you have to say to the people, man? What do you have to say? Huh? Good boy. You're so fluffy. Fluffy.